Hello, this is Kathy Roseville Jonas, licensed clinical social worker from Epic Healing Eugene. And today's a bit of a little milestone. I'm over here at the Eugene City Planning Center and handing in my land use compatibility statement for a Oregon Psilocybin Service Center here in Eugene. There is literally, it feels like a zillion steps to go through. So not really sure what all is gonna happen, but this morning I did talk to the landlord of the building I'm renting offices in, and he's given me conditional approval to go ahead with the process. Uh, so here I am uh, looking at step two, a big milestone just to hand in the paperwork to see if the building is zoned correctly, which at this point, it sounds like it just might be. So I am actually feeling pretty excited about the process to at least find out, can I even open up a small scale service center where I'm at? And then I will look for opportunities to eventually move to a larger place uh, with possibly others to coordinate with for a larger service center. But being that I do enjoy doing deep healing work and individualized work, having a small service center in my existing office space might be just fine to start out with. I also found out that I can transfer my psilocybin service center license over to a new location without having to pay the additional $10,000 a year to keep it active. So that is encouraging. The other thing is I will be hopefully done and ready to test from the Oregon Psilocybin Facilitators exam in March or in April. And so that is progressing right along. I did get a little a uh, side update on how it is going with though getting medicine. That might be actually the biggest obstacle. Um, once a, a facilitator like me gets going and is licensed and actually has somewhere to practice in a licensed service center, you have to get approved medicine that has been authorized from a licensed manufacturer and also tested, packaged, and all those sorts of things. So the update I heard this morning from somebody who's actually doing it, I don't think they're uh, from Eugene Local, is that they're told maybe May or June before uh, really that medicine will be available, but we'll see maybe somebody's getting a head off start that I'm unaware of and I sure hope so. But that is the update uh, for today over here at the Eugene City Planning Center. Um, handing in my land use compatibility statement and paperwork to see if I can progress to step three of the process, which would be to get all the security set up in my office space. Okay, take good care. And this is Kathy Roswell Jonas, licensed clinical social worker from Epic Healing Eugene. Bye-bye.